Welcome to GTI's presentation of Zealot dies 100 times trying to play Empyrean Galactic Survival. Um, so the goal here is that I am going to try to complete the uh, new scenario released from um, Experimental 6 called Dawn of Galaxy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this rolling here. Uh, Galactic, Imperial Galactic Survival, Empyrean, sorry, Galactic Survival, is a um, survival, uh, crafting, PvE, PvP, um, massive shipbuilding, crazy game. It's, it's really awesome. It's an indie game from Elon Studios. Um, okay, so I have not actually tried the Donna Galaxy scenario, so I'm going to give this a try. Um, it has two starting scenarios. One is Elia, which looks like you start with an, a base. So, pretty cool. Um, the other one is May, where you start from an escape pod crash, uh, which is more of the traditional sort of um, survival start. And then there's also May Orbit, where you start it sounds like on the x7 station just shooting them up right away uh so that is rated as a hard start i would agree i'm horrible at uh at first person shooter games which this can be it can be first person it can be third person um but still it's all it's um twitch based you gotta you gotta aim and shoot you can't just click on something and auto aim. Okay, so let's get this started. I think um, I think I want to do the May start because it looks very similar to Omicron. Um, okay, I'm going to set my settings here. Uh, starting equipment set to medium. Player progression slow. Let's put that to medium or normal, I guess. Degradation speed, that's your uh, equipment, how fast it degrades. I'm going to set that to slow so that it lasts a little longer. Uh, temperature and radiation impact on, so that's environmental damage that you can take. I'm going to set that to low. Uh, amount of ore per deposit, rich, I'm going to leave that. Number of deposits, plenty, I'm going to leave that. Overall drone presence, high. Let's turn that down to normal. We're going to do the drone base attack to normal or medium, I guess. Yeah, medium. Rate of NPC spawn, we're going to set that to normal. Enemy difficulty, we're going to set to normal. Well, there's medium, medium, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually set that to hard. Enemy difficulty set to hard. We don't want to make it too easy on me, right? Constructor speed. And blueprint production speed, I'm going to leave it fast. So those are my settings. Um, sort of normal spawn rate. Enemies are going to be difficult. Um, starting new equipment, medium. I have no idea what the start is like here. If I got to start and find a um, survival POI, I don't know. I haven't actually played this scenario, so, so we're going to find out. Okay, um, let's call this GTI for Geek Tech Industries, and we'll do uh, Dawn of Galaxy. Okay, GTI dog it is. Um, see, let's just randomize that. We'll set that, whatever seed that is, 791044. It's a random um, biome placement. So chances are um, you'll never get the same scenario or the same geology as any other seed. So we're going to set that. If you guys want to play along, that is seed 791044. Okay, let's just get jump right into this and see what happens. So if it's an escape pod, I got to keep my eyes open while I'm crashing for like a survivalist POI, uh, point of interest. 
so that um, I don't know what I get, what my loadout is from the escape pod. So Promethium right there, silicone. I don't see any. Oh, survivors camp. Okay, so I'm gonna aim for that. I don't see any water anywhere. Wow, there's magnesium, iron, and promethium though, so that's good. Uh, this definitely looks like Omicron. I'm crashing into what looks like an orange tree orchard. I'm trying to get as close to the survival camp as possible. So here we are. Ah. Uh, you barely escaped the last escape pod, blah, 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 blah. So we're just going to, we're just going to do the let's go. Um, you can always activate and deactivate each mission manually. Okay, good. Um, so open the escape pod inventory is my first thing I've got to do. So it says hitting F and ooh, uh, very sparse. I have no survival constructor, no drill. Okay, so I'll take what it gave me. Um, and then place survival constructor. Well, I don't have one, so I'm, I'm, I guess I gotta go find. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping. Let me put it into um, third person view here, a little easier to see. I'm gonna actually put my gun there. I'm gonna equip my med kits and my antidote pills. So I've got four Promethean packs. I'm going to need those for my emergency O2 generator. This planet does not have a breathable atmosphere. So right now, whatever oxygen is in my uh, spacesuit, uh, which is the armor I'm wearing, is actually a spacesuit. Uh, whatever oxygen is in there right now is currently what I'm using. I'm going to run, try and cover as much ground as possible. Um, what I really need to do is God, I hope this has my gear loadout in it. If it doesn't have my gear in it, I'm screwed. Okay, we'll check this out. So, okay, so this is this is a survival camp base. Um, it basically starts you with a free base that has just the bare necessities. It does not have a constructor by the look of it, though. Let's see what's in here. Ah, there we go. There's my survival constructor. I got a core, an evil boost, some, some, uh, I got a drill, some biofuel, so let's just grab all that. Uh, okay, it wants me to place the survival constructor. Now, I have no idea how long I have before baddies start spawning. I'm assuming I get one, I get like my seven and a half minutes up in the bar as, uh, as a reprieve, and then after that, I'm probably just going to get ganked. Um, another problem is I'm going to need seaweed. So that means I'm going to need to get to one of these large lakes. Okay, so I think my plan is to loot this POI, because I'm not going to keep it as my um, main base, because it's out in the open, and I, I just, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's a capital vessel that's going to come by and blow it up. So instead of me doing that cargo box here, wow, a restroom and uh, iron and get, well, start. Uh, there's grow plots here. I mean, maybe... In the future, if I'm able to set up a base somewhere else, um, I'll come back and, and actually strip this down with a uh, multi-tool. But right now, can't access anything else. So is that it? Just the just my cargo, my personal cargo. Uh, oh, there's a fridge here. Let's, uh, well, let's steal the fridge. Um, that's the core. Uh, I'm okay. Let's turn my light on so that you guys can see better. There's a ventilator there. I I don't think I want to. Did I get? What did I get in my? 
I get no resources. Just, huh, okay. Okay, I think what I want to do is I'm going to set up a, um, I'm going to head to the, I'm going to try and make it to the um, trading station, I think. Um, hang on. Let me right click on the trading station. I'm going to select a waypoint. Okay, so now there's a waypoint for there. I think what I'll do is I will two and a half kilometers. Damn, I'm probably going to suffocate before I get there. Uh, what I really need to do is I think I want to get some of this Prometheum with what little biofuel I have uh, right off the bat. Um, I can get other resources from rocks, all the other basic resources except for Prometheum. And Prometheum is the basic fuel that fuels everything. And I'm out of stamina. Got to turn my jetpack on. While you're wearing armor, all types of armor have jetpacks built into them. They also have um, factories built into them so that you can load um, materials into blueprints and then spawn the blueprint without actually having a constructor. To, to my knowledge, I don't think you need a constructor to puke out a blueprint. Okay, we're getting closer. This is a massive Prometheum deposit. 14657. Um, wow, it's just cooking here. 56 degrees. Good thing my armor is protecting me. I don't, let's, let's see what. My armor is good from negative 25 to 60 degrees. So any hotter and I'll start cooking. And the temperature is climbing. So I might have to get as much of this Prometheum as possible and just make a beeline to the, uh, trading station. I guess in the meantime what I'll do uh, so that I don't suffocate is I'm going to put my O2 station out and I'm going to throw uh, one of these packs in it just to start generating oxygen for me. Let's equip my drill and we have to charge the drill. We have to pour some biofuel into it. It, it started us with four, so that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna get as close as possible to this. Um, now, in order to prevent myself from running out of oxygen too quickly, I'm gonna use my drone by hitting F5. I can bond my drone. If I tab out for a second, tab back in, my radar appears back up in the top right. And then with my drone, I can actually do all my work and it'll reduce the amount of oxygen and food that I'm consuming. So I'm gonna drill into this Prometheum deposit. Now the low level drill, the, the starting one really sucks. Um, it doesn't auto pick up. It, it unfortunately uses biofuel, which you can only make with seaweed. And that's the other reason why I want to get to a large lake to go pick seaweed or else I'm going to run out of biofuel and not be able to mine anymore. But in the meantime, I'm just going to get as much of this Prometheum as possible. Uh, and I'm already starting to overheat. Look at that. I'm up to 61 degrees. As soon as my body, my body temperature is at 25 degrees, you can see it up in the, uh, it's that small number beside the 62. So the, the small number underneath the 25 is the outside temperature. Um, the large 62 is the environmental temperature that I'm currently in. So let's say if I was in a building, that number could be different than the outside temperature. That's all that is. Uh, okay, so the temperature is continuing to climb. Not a good thing. I gotta get as much of this as possible. Promethium is gonna be my downfall at the beginning. Uh, Promethium and seaweed. And, and I'm gonna run out of time. As soon as my body temperature starts dropping, it hasn't started dropping yet. I guess 
I, I'm not sure what the temperature threshold is past what your suit can handle before your before it starts affecting your body temperature. Um, but I'm still sitting at 25 degrees. What the hell was that? I'm like bombs going off. I don't know. I don't know. Freaking out. Just keep mining. Up to 66 degrees. I think as soon as my body temperature starts climbing, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bail. I'm gonna have to like climb a mountain or something, or jump in an ocean. Okay, we're getting a decent amount. What are we at? We're up to 78. Let me try and get to 100. Now, I wonder if I can use the strategy I've used in other uh, survival scenarios. Oh, see, my temperature and my body temperature are starting to climb now. Damn it. But the outdoor temperature dropped a bit, so let's, let's just see if I can handle it. I should be able to pick some oranges. I believe oranges will temporarily bring down my body temperature too. And there's lots of uh, lots of space oranges on this planet. I shouldn't go hungry. The only problem is picking wild vegetation and eating it. You can actually get food poisoning from it. But I do have a couple of antidote pills right now. Uh, I really want to save those for poisonous bite scope from critters because it seems like everything in this game poisons you. Okay, what are we at here? What are we at? We are at 127. Okay, I think... I think because time is a factor here, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this stuff. And what if, wait, wait, when was the next one? Twenty eight seconds. Okay, I'll wait twenty eight seconds. I'll eat this meat burger. A meat burger. Wow, okay. Let's eat that before it spoils. That's another thing in the game, food spoils. Um, unless you have a fridge to put it in, which I don't, I don't have nothing. I have a survival constructor. <sighs> oh, I got a motorbike construction kit. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get my motorbike going. So let's get my survival constructor out. Um, does add craft, yeah, well. All I got is my construction crash, so I'm going to take those out of there. Um, okay, so I should be able to craft a motorbike. Turn it on. And add crafting materials, add fuel pack templates. So if I do this and Make some Promethium pellets. And then do a fuel pack template. Is that what it's going to require? Let's see. I'm going to take my motorbike, put it here. Um, actually, I'm not grab that yet. And it says add, oh, add fuel pack templates. It did that. So what else? What else do I need? C add crafting materials. I don't really have any crafting materials. Crafting materials? Is that what these are? Is that crafting materials? Maybe, maybe that. And no. No, that wasn't it then. Let's bring up my PDA. My survival constructor did that. Basic crafting. Add to start crafting basic access to survival construct. Hold shift, left click on the resources in your inventory. This will transfer them to the 
instructor's inventory at least add the Promethean pellets consider to add okay so maybe I just need to add them again oh it said add Promethean pellets so let's make some Promethean pellets and oh I'm not sure if I should have made that many I only went for 10, so if I take these out and put them in here, did that actually do it? It did. Place O2 generator, power O2 generator. Okay. So I shouldn't have placed it already. In that it generated. Okay, so I'll pick it up. Shift F picks it up, and then I'll go into my inventory and replace it or place it down yes okay so that's what it wanted f and it said power it i don't really want to right now you know what i'm not going to waste resources on that right now i'm going to pick it up because i don't like this area i really don't like this area i'm going to grab all my stuff out of this and just pick it up now um I just have a feeling that critters are going to start spawning at night here and I'm going to be screwed. So, let's get the motorbike going. Now, the, unfortunately, the motorbike in this game really... Oh, come on. Derp a derp. Try that again. Come on. And F to mount it. Sounds like an electric bike. The controls are horrible. It's a typical WASD config, but any little ruts, any little rocks and stuff this thing gets stuck on. I know it shows to go the other way, but I gotta get around these mountains because the motorbike just can't handle mountains at all. So, and this is actually revealing more uh, stuff. Good, good, good. down here but whoa don't crash oh really come on come on let's go come on come on this thing is horrible I'm... oh no am I going in the water no nope. okay probably gonna have to pick this up soon because it's not gonna make it up these hills as I say that, I jump right over it. Make me a liar! And... Come on. And now I'm screwed. Come on, come on! No. Okay, let's just pick that up. We're going to have to hoof it on foot. Little slime dude down there. I better equip my weapon. So, so monsters are already out. So it doesn't really give me much of a reprieve. Um, I gotta get over this mountain. Oh, I really want to smash these rocks and pick these plants too, but I'm gonna run out of time if I do. I really can't dawdle with it being so far away. I really can't dawdle. I will pick some of the oranges. That way if my temperature gets too high, I can eat an orange to help bring it down. Run, run, run! Now, another thing about this game is lighting gets to be a major issue at night it's really hard to see um, all you get is a shoulder light I'll turn that on right now you can see it helps a little bit during the day but not much at night it's your only light source unless you actually have a vehicle with headlights or you know base with lights um, and later on I might be able to loot some or purchase some night vision goggles 
problems with my stamina running out here. Now, do oranges give you stamina when you eat them? Stamina, yes. I'm going to eat one of those. Uh, let's eat two of those. I just, I'm so leery of eating that stuff because it, I just have horrible luck and I get, get food poisoning all the time when I eat, uh, when I eat stuff that I pick. But really, I have no choice at this point. So, oh, I forgot to mention, um, I'm going to try and complete this scenario without dying a hundred times. So if I die a hundred times, I've got to restart. Come on, come on, come on. Got to get it to... Uh, now you see the times going up. That's because I'm moving with the sun. So I've, I'm actually um, following the sun as it goes. So I'm actually, I'm actually keeping my daylight doing going in this direction, which is which is great. And I keep I'm finding more resource spawns, which is great too. Got to keep a, an eye on my. Um, Got to keep an eye on my oxygen levels. Okay, so it looks like I can get on the bike here. The more terrain I can cover with the bike, the better, because then I'm not going to use up as much food and oxygen doing it. And it's just faster. Whoa. Ugh. A little bit of a glitch there. It made me eject. I don't know what happened there. Let's try again. Get on and keep going. I think I might have bumped the F by accident. F and F button. It's just effing me up. So I'm just going to put it away really quick and start jumping like a chimpanzee trying to get over this mountain. Um, your jetpack, you can see over on the left there, There's uh, it automatically re-energizes itself as you don't use it. But right now I'm spamming the jump key. Because um, if I just tried to walk, I probably couldn't. Yeah, I'm stuck. So I got to jump. That's okay. Okay, so whoa, whoa. Uh what the hell? So Oh really? The admin trading station is super close to two other POIs. Like super close. I probably won't even be able to get to it without being shot by the other POIs. Okay, that's I thought they had addressed that in the... I thought that was a, um, a bug fix. Yeah, I have a feeling that I am going to get shot at and die. So if I come at it from lower ground... Yeah, so you can see turrets on that POI. And they have, they probably have a range of about 400 meters. Um, may, maybe, maybe the trading station is out of range of, of the turrets. We'll see. Uh, another thing I got to see is if this lake actually has seaweed in it, um, this might be a good spot to actually settle down in. Um, swimming, it's just like zero gravity with a jetpack. So it's, um, 
same thing, WASD, but it's also C for down and spacebar for up by default. So hopefully there's seaweed in this lake. If there isn't, um, if there isn't, then I'm going to be screwed. Oh, well, I that's not seaweed. That's um, alien thorn, which I need. Some daxerit, it's good. Oh, there's some seaweed. Okay, 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 happening. Okay, good, good. So seaweed is what you need to make biofuel with, what you need for your drill charges. Also, you can use it to eat. So it's a multi-use uh, resource in the game. And, okay, this is lovely. This is lovely. Look at all the rocks. So also rocks, you can use rocks to, uh, uh, you can smash rocks with your drill. Um, I'm just getting as much seaweed as I can right now. And... Oh, lots, 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 lots. Oh, it's uber. Okay. And look at all the rocks. Okay, you know what? You know what? I think I'm going to go to the middle of this lake. Um, although the next lake over looks even bigger, doesn't it? Hmm. No, that's okay. I'll just settle with this lake. So I got to turn around a little bit. Over this way a bit. Let's swim forward. And what do we like here? Are we in the middle yet? Pretty darn close. We'll find a. There we go, some, some flat spot of ground that doesn't have a lot of grass on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually throw my O2 and my survival constructor down here. And I'm actually going to uh, base myself at the bottom of this lake right now. So first off, I've got to get this generating oxygen. Uh, so I think right now I'm just going to put all of my promethium fuel packs into the oxygen generator. Okay. Um, oh, I completed something. So now the next step is find edible plants, find medical plants. Let's get the constructor down. Oh, I already it on my taskbar so let's put it down here and I'm gonna put all my crap into it so that if I die all my non-essential stuff keep the food on me put the seaweed in there put the motorbike in there I'll keep the biofuel on me because I'm gonna need that O2 bottles okay so we got some oranges that are going to perish in 21 minutes, and we got a sandwich that's going to perish in nine minutes. So I got to eat the sandwich within nine minutes. Good for 160. I am down 161. <laughs> I'll just eat it now. Screw it. There we go. Okay, so while that's generating oxygen for me, I think I need to go and start drilling and collecting seaweed. So let's equip my drill and by right clicking on while you have a, a drill equipped, you can select either resource mining or stone removal. The, uh, there's an upper tier drill that actually gives you more options and also auto picks up your stuff. This one does. Ooh, got a whole bunch of resources eject out of that one. Gotta find them all here. Good, good, good. Uh, come on, where'd you go? Don't rip me off. Eh, don't know where it went. Now 
Ash and Rock. So you can see actually rocks give decent resources. Um, obviously if you need a very specific type of resource, you're better off going to that specific node and concentrating on that type of resource. But right now I just need everything, so rocks are awesome for me. I'm also picking everything that I can. And I ran out of fuel. Okay, so let's recharge. Seaweed, oh, I, edible plant. So seaweed ca classified as an edible plant, which it is. So then I gotta find a medical. Uh, I'm not sure what medical plants are. I guess I could read the PDA and it'll tell me. So pick up plants. Uh, really complete? No, I don't want to complete it. Oh, fine. Oh, come on. Really? All I did was click on it to read it and then it took. Okay, so whatever. Uh, find medical plants. No. I Let's read it down here instead of clicking on it. I get hurt while I, uh, so alien spike lemons and pixie stock bundles. Alien spike lemons and pixie stock bundles. So those two things. Or no. Okay. Alien spike lemons and pixie stock bundles. Okay. Well. They're not going to be at the bottom of this lake. I'll have to deal with that later. I don't want to go too far away from my oxygen generator because I'm already getting low. Okay. So... Not bad, not bad, not bad. What are we at here? Another 14. We got, oh, some decent resources already starting. Um, let's get some oxygen here. Before I suffocate to death. Because knowing me, that's exactly what I do to myself. Get some really good resources off these rocks. Wow. Sometimes multiple types are fitting out too. Although they're 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 flying off in different directions, which is a little weird. Makes it hard to find in this in the uh, foliage here in the bottom of the ocean. Okay, well, let's just keep picking stuff. Oh, uh, how much oxygen I got? Good. So with our current amount of fuel in there, we've got three and a half hours of power to power our um, oxygen generator. I just picked up more seaweed. We got some alien thorns. We got some pentaxid, uh, and then the standard resources. So I'm going to put that stuff in my constructor. Okay, so now I'm going to actually craft up all the ingots that I can and magnesium powder turn my constructor on and start get those crafting okay pretty good start um, so we'll let that craft and I think this is a good start I, I have a I have good feels about this I've got a bunch of uh, Promethium now, so I've got some energy to keep my O2 going. Um, I've got seaweed to to create food and biofuel with, and there's plenty of seaweed at the bottom of the ocean, and there's a whole bunch of rocks for me to smash. I think this is going to be a good start spot for me. Um, maybe next episode I'll start 
crafting a base and see if I can get um, a base up and running with a with a real constructor and and then maybe be able to make some vehicles. So there we go. I made it to where I wanted to without actually dying and gathered some resources at the same time. So I would call this a successful start to my journey. And I think what we'll do is we'll leave it at here and uh, we'll start again next session from where we left off. So I'm going to quit. And you guys have yourself a fantastic day.